So let me start with the, the end goal. You can summarize the problem with the current economic system by this picture. There are a few decision makers make economic decisions that impact a lot of people, a lot of communities, a lot of workers, a lot of ecosystems. And these people do not have any say, most of the time, on what decisions are made up here. Think about you know, the shareholders or the board of directors of large corporations, right? Whether Walmart moves here and destroys all the local retailers is not a decision made by the people that are suffering the consequences of that decision. And I think at the end of the day, we need to move towards economic democracy. We need to move to a place where if communities, if workers, if ecosystems are impacted by economic decisions, they should be at the table. And this is easier said than done. And we'll see what the challenges are. But that's what we need to keep in mind. If economic decisions impact us, our families, our health, the health of our ecosystem, we should be at the table and make those decisions together. So let's look at the economy in its historical context. This is a, um, a chart that I got from Richard Wolf, a great guy that has a, a weekly um, economics update, and shows the real wages per hour uh, in the United States from 19, 1890 to 1980. And this has been the miracle of capitalism in this country, which is, you know, the real wage is basically what you can actually buy, is adjusted for inflation, and it's basically how many things you can buy with what you earn. And what you see here is the amazing economic engine that capitalism has been in this country, uh, where the standard of living of Americans have gone up every single decade. And this is what has drawn people from Europe to come here for opportunities and so on. This is really an amazing feat of capitalism in, you know, 150 years run. Now, this was possible. Why? Because workers have become more and more productive over that period of time. So for every hour, uh, you know, the, the blue line is basically the hourly wage. And the red line is what those people produced in an hour. And this increase in productivity has been really spectacular, mostly due to education and to technology. And you can see that both have kind of grown together over this period of time, but something happened after 1980. This is what happened. Those two lines diverged. The productivity of labor has increased, in fact, increased exponentially. But what the workers received in real terms has not changed at all. 